one of the reasons why we prefer long data to big data is because the more data you have over the longer time, uh, time period, the greater predict predictability that you have. Now, that's not to say you have certainty. You never do with the data. Um, however, in today's example, we have a method that allows you to get between 95 and 98% probability when predicting incident volume to help you understand how you should appropriately staff your IT organization. That'll help you uh, justify an insourcing decision, uh, justify an outsourcing decision. It will help you understand if you can bring in specialist contractors for specific technology areas in IT. Uh, what we have here is the remedy application, and it is tied into incident management so that you don't have to go in and calculate uh, closed incident volume and, and these time dimensions. Uh, it's all built for you. So this is out of the box with Northcraft. Uh, this works with ServiceNow, HP Service Manager as well. Uh, what we have here is the individual seasonal effects calculation. And we're taking that methodology from one discipline and applying it to IT. So here we have your closed incident volume by month uh, over a four-year time period. We've calculated the moving average for you over that time period, the centered moving average, which is used when you have even data points. And here we have 48 months of data. Uh, then what we've done is we've separated out these additional calculations in Excel which are required from our business intelligence application, which is over here on the left. And so we have then calculated the individual seasonal effects, which allows you to calculate um, the, the difference in your closed incidents versus your centered uh, moving average to determine in this particular time period of July 2009, uh, did we have more? activity than usual or less. Um, and you're seeing here in August the drop off in August 2009. Then from there we build up into the average seasonal effects. So we look over all that uh, over the four years and we determine in general is January does it have less activity than us usual in the IT department and so on. Uh, then we move on to the seasonally adjusted values um, where we look at and compare the average seasonal effect uh, versus the centered moving average. And that tells us whether or not we're above or below expectation. All of this data is going into our final formula, uh, which is helping us forecast, again, pre-calculated, to help you determine the accuracy of, st of uh, predicting incident volume. Now that's great across the board, predicting incident volume per month across the board, very helpful. Where it gets more exciting and gives you the ability to pick and choose technologies uh, that you would like to uh, determine future activity levels um, of incidents is here in the classification. So we could bring in things like, and now this isn't Remedy, but it, again, it works in the other applications as well. But if I bring in product name or configuration item, I can use that as a filter to show me now with Microsoft Exchange 2010, how many closed incidents do I have over this time period? Or if I want to go a little bit broader and say, over time, how many Microsoft Exchange issues have I had over this four year, year period? Or how many Cisco router issues? Or how many EMC storage issues? So that I can look at um, in September, do I need to bring in an additional contractor to help me out, to help me close critical incidents that we typically experience in this time period? So with that data, basically you can become much more efficient in your IT organization and staff at exactly the appropriate level with a high degree of confidence that you're going to be able to achieve them. Let us know if you have any questions about our business intelligence application or methodology here that we